it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student, and in today's video, I'm going to be diving into Tactical Arbitrage, which if you're not familiar with it already, it's an online arbitrage software that's going to let you dive into stores like Walmart, Target, Home Depot, that kind of thing, and then it's going to find the price on Amazon, it's going to spit out a leads list that you're going to be able to sort through and then find some profitable flips for Amazon. So I'm going to show you the basics of how I use it, as well as some helpful tips, uh, some things you might not think of that's going to help you get even more profitable leads using Tactical Arbitrage. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to say that only about 20% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click the button down below. Uh, it's free. It helps me out a ton. You can always unsubscribe. Uh, also, if you decide to go ahead and get Tactical Arbitrage after watching the video, there's a link down below and you can also enter promo code FIELDS for an extra three days on your free trial and that helps the channel out a lot. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into this video. So now that we're actually within Tactical Arbitrage, I'm just going to go ahead and walk through it real quick. So this tab right here is your product search page. It's going to let you go through any website. You're going to be able to add categories from over here, and then that's going to let you scan those. It's going to let you add some filters and things like that. Uh, we've got the data page. This is where all of your scans are going to come up, and you're going to be able to create some custom filters to get through all of this. We've also got the reverse search, which I like a lot because you're able to reverse search sellers. So I'll go into this later, but you're able to look up a seller ID and then it's going to go ahead and reverse search those products. So once you find a seller who's likely doing online arbitrage, you can just plug this in there and it's going to give you likely some other profitable products because that online arbitrage seller obviously has a couple. Uh, profitable products. And then the last form of scanning is the always be scanning tab. What this does is it just runs in the background uh, and it's just going to be pulling leads from all over the place. So I look through this occasionally when my other leads list are gone because this typically has a little bit less leads but it's still uh, another cool feature that it's just automatically searching leads even when you're not when you haven't given it a specific assignment. We've got the search manager. This is where all of your searches are going to show up. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the first type of search that I like to use, which is just a regular product search. So the key to finding good products here is this little box right here, because everyone in the world is going to be just doing, so let's say we got Walgreens. So everyone with this software is just going to be doing select 500. They're just going to add it. So what this does is it adds these categories into this right here, and then it's going to go ahead and search this, right? So everybody's just going to do this. This is the easiest way to do it. But when you're looking to make money, you need to do the things that are difficult, right? You need to do the things that take extra work because that's where the real profit's going to be found. So what I like to do is when I find a new website, you're just going to go ahead and click through right here. This is going to take you to the website. So what I'm looking for is any sales. So as you can see right here, we've got an extra 20% off beauty and personal care. So we can go to shop now and then we've got these like 11,000 items that have a 20% off coupon. But when you run that initial scan without doing any of this extra work down here, it's not gonna pick it up. So you going through the extra work of checking the website, looking for coupons and things like that, you're gonna be able to get a lot more profitable leads. So let's go ahead and check this out. So to do a link like this, you're gonna copy this link and then we've got to go down here. So it's page one of 139. So we're gonna go ahead and throw it into this product search. We're gonna to go to categories right here. We're gonna paste that link. We're gonna do start page one and then 139. And then we're gonna go down here and then whatever cash back you can get. Let's see uh, what kind of cash back Rakuten has. Rakuten's my favorite. I'm gonna check Ebates right here, Walgreens. It looks like they've got uh, 3% or it looks like 2% on most things. So you're gonna go ahead and plug that in here. We can get a 20% off discount on these products that we're looking for, but you do I do have to pay sales tax on this. So we're going to try give this a shot. We're gonna just press search right down here. And then as you can see, the search has started. So now it looks like it's got about 3,000 products to search through and it looks like it's already found one potential lead. So just like that, you're gonna be able to wait you know, several hours, maybe up to a day for the search to finish, and then you're gonna be able to scrape through this data. But because you are willing to go through the extra effort of checking and seeing if there's a good sale going, you're gonna be able to get a lot more leads than someone who's just using this bulk feature right here. But just to show you how the tool works, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how a simple bulk search would work. Walmart.com is a good example of one where you don't typically really need to check for coupons. Walmart's gonna pretty much just be selling it whatever the prices are. So you're gonna just pick a category you like. I like uh, replenishables like beauty, uh, body wash, deodorant, that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna check beauty right here. You click add to bulk, 
and then that's just going to go ahead and add these categories. You're going to be able to go down here and set up your filters however you like them. On walmart.com I have the 5% cashback card and I don't have to pay sales tax on Walmart. Get set up as an LLC and get your resale license. If you're not already tax exempt, it's going to save you, you know, whatever your sales tax is on your buy costs. So it's going to be big savings for sure. Uh, you're going to set these however you like. You can copy these if you want and adjust them as you learn. I like to do just a little bit for my standard product cost to prep because I pay uh, actually my sister to prep all my products. And then you've got your cost to ship for Amazon. So it's going to be able to factor all that in. So this is a nice feature because sometimes it'll pull up like big heavy items like boxes of canned foods and that kind of thing, which is just going to be really expensive to ship. So this is going to help you filter out a lot of these and get you more profitable leads to show up. And then you're also going to want to check the gross profit and ROI. I like to do $3 gross or 35 ROI and I found a pretty good amount of things in there. So then after you've got your filter set up and your bulk category selected, you're just going to go ahead and press search. And then that's going to start a search over these items, which is going to be a whole bunch of items. You're going to, you're going to want to check back in, you know, a day or so. And then that's going to show up right here in this view data tab. So then once you're in your view data tab, you're going to set up your filters again, however you like. Um, I have one just like this. You can check it out if you want. It catches most things and gets rid of a lot of the trash. Um, this is for FBA. And then I also made one for um, products that are only merchant fulfilled. And that's able to find a couple more products. And then basically all this does is look for a lower ROI because if it's a lower ROI with these merchant products, you're going to be able to charge a premium FBA and maybe you'll be the only FBA offer, which that's just a good little pro tip to look out for. So yeah, that's the basics of the product search. I like to use it with those coupons a lot. And then I do use the bulk feature with the websites that don't typically offer coupons and things like that. So let's go ahead and jump into a reverse search right here. So we're just going to click on this tab right over here and then there's a whole bunch of different things you can search, like you can re uh, reverse search some ASINs, UPCs, in a list right here. You can also upload a, a spreadsheet into this feature right here. You can use something like uh, Storefront Stalker, and that's going to scrape the ASINs off of, a, uh, off of a keyword search or a seller's storefront on Amazon itself. And you can be able to plug that in. I don't use that yet, but I will eventually. Um, right now, I've just been using this seller ID feature a lot. So what you'll do is you'll go over to Amazon. This is just the quick way I like to do it. You'll go to a Walgreens vitamin because what this tells you is this has to be an RA seller or an OA seller. Um, no one's going to be having a wholesale account with Walgreens themselves. So these are all OA sellers right here. You're going to go ahead and click through to find a decent sized store like this one right here. They've got about 53 reviews. Uh, they've got 700 total in the last 12 months. So you're just going to click through. They've got about 300 products. So you're going to copy this one right here. The first uh, long string, not the second long string. You're going to go back into your reverse search and you're just going to paste it right there. And then you're going to just be able to press search. As you can see, I'm out of searches right now. You get one every four hours. But this is a really good way to get more of those reverse searches on these items that you probably know are coming from an OA seller. You can also search these manually. Sometimes the reverse search will miss some of the products, especially if they're bundles and things like that. So if you find sellers like this is actually not a bad example where they're getting quite a few reviews every month but they only have 300 products in the store where it might be worth it to go ahead and just check all these products manually where the scanner might miss things because it's just checking UPCs and pictures and things like that where you might be able to find some of this stuff cheaper and be able to bundle it. As you can see, a lot of the OA products are bundled, which Tactical Arbitrage has trouble finding. Like this product right here is two different items. It's not even just a multi-pack. So Tactical Arbitrage is probably not going to be able to find this. But yeah, that's how I like to use the reverse search here. It's a really good way to get more uh, concentrated leads, I'd say. Like these 300 products here are way more likely to be profitable than just things you're grabbing off the Walgreens website, right? So it's going to be able to find more profitable products per scan. But at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal to maximize your efficiency per scan. But it's good to be able to diversify how you're sourcing, right? So now that we've talked about how the searches actually work, some tips that I use to make it a little more efficient, I'm just going to go ahead and dive into this list real quick, see, um, take you through my process on how I source, and I'll show you a couple of my winners to show you how I decide what's a winner and what's not based on these Keepa charts right here. I like to set it up with the Keepa chart on the left, 
so that you can skip uh, checking through if you don't really like how it looks. Like this just sells too slow for me personally. Um, this, the products, like the price changes massively. So if we're getting it for $13, but like a week ago it was $20, that's kind of a risky flip, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and check through here for a product that has consistent sales and a relatively consistent price chart. Like this price chart is relatively consistent right here, but it looks like this is not matching. So this right here is probably not a four pack. Oh, this actually is a four pack. Uh, it's on clearance. This actually might be a decent buy right here. Let's check this. So we got the four pack, looks pretty much the same. These are going for 35 merchant, but looks like we've got this IP alert right here. If you don't have IP alert, it's like $50 or so, uh, and it's gonna save you from IP complaints. I just got it recently, so I can't really vouch for it majorly, but it's been good to avoid some, you know, just some future headaches. So in this case, I'm gonna stay away from it, but the Keepa looks like it probably would have been profitable there, but we'll keep moving on. Let's check this one right here. Looks like we can get it for 19 from Rite Aid, and then it's going for 44 right now. Looks like it has in the past been sold by Amazon, but they've been out of stock for a while. Let's see if we can figure out what prices it's actually selling for. Looks like it's sold fairly consistently here for 30. Uh, pretty slow up here for about 60, 45. So conservatively, it would probably sell for 30. Let's try that right there. So that's gonna be 22. That's some pretty thin margins right there. But if you're able to sell this up here in like the like the 45 range, it might be worth a shot. I probably wouldn't buy this, plus I'm still gated in OTC meds, so we're just gonna skip that. But that's just how you would vet that Keepa chart right there. Let's see if we can find one winner here. So I searched for a second here and found a product that's uh, a little bit of a winner right here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check the Keepa right here. Looks like it sells relatively consistently, not super fast. Let's see the last month. We're gonna see it's got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, about 15 sales or so and it looks like the price right now is about $17 but it's mer it's merchant fulfilled so we could probably get um, 18 to 20 for this so let's try 18 bare minimum we're buying it from Walmart for 10 uh, get tax exempt so you don't have to pay sales tax on this so if you did that uh, pretty conservative you're gonna make 280 profit but you could probably list this for 20 a unit and sell it FBA and that's gonna get you a 450 profit so let's go ahead and see if we can find another one a little bit better here. So here's an example of a product that I made some good money on while it was in stock here on Barnes & Noble. I was buying it for 30, 33 after sales tax, and then I was selling it right in here for the $70 price point. So I was listing them for, I think I sold them for $68.99, and then I was buying them for 33. So these were $20 profits, that's a 30% profit margin. Uh, these were pretty good. I bought, I think, 15 of them, and they sold out in a couple of days, so that was pretty good. Um, so that right there is, you know, 15 times 20 is $300, so that was a $300 lead just off of buying a couple of these right there. So here's another product with a better Keepa graph, so I can show you how I found this lead. I've been selling quite a few of these, but they've been out of stock recently. So here's a good uh, bolo for you, or if you're able to find these in stock. So you can see recently they've been Amazon's been having trouble staying in stock on it. So the FBA price has been pretty consistently like 24.50 ish. So we're gonna do 24.45 because that looks like it's what it, what it's been about. Uh, see the profitability on this is 16. Let's go ahead and find it. So on Target is where I've been buying it from. It's out of stock right now. We're gonna go ahead and get it for $10. You can't get tax exempt at Target, so your true cost is gonna be 11. And then that looks like about a $5 profit, but it's been selling really quickly. And that's uh, a pretty good ROI there. That's uh, you know pushing a 50% ROI, which is pretty solid. We're gonna dive into the Keepa here and see that it's selling pretty consistently. The price stays really solid, which is what you really wanna see on your OA leads is price consistency. Because by the time you get your product shipped to you, it's gonna be about a week. Shipped to Amazon is gonna be another one to two weeks at least. So it could be the time you buy it to when it's actually able to sell, it could be upwards of a month. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that price is actually stable enough for that. Another thing that you're gonna to wanna to do to increase your margins is make sure you're getting all the bonuses you can. So like get a, a Target Circle card or a Walmart cash back card, those are going to give you 5% cash back. Register as an LLC, uh, get tax exempt um, at all the websites you can, get Lowe's, Walmart, all those kind of things, tax exempt. That's going to increase your margins a bunch. 
You're also going to want to make sure that you're using sites like Rakuten and um, Top Cash Back and things like that. Sometimes you'll be able to, sometimes I'll start my day with checking Rakuten. Like as you can see, Macy's has a 10% cash back today. Um, that's pretty good. So you can go in and set up a search uh, right here where your cash back is 10, say. Um, and then you're also going to just want to check, see, uh, like over Cyber Monday, there was some sites that were doing upwards of like 15% cash back plus coupons. So for a while there, Walgreens was 30% off full price plus 15% back. So you're almost paying half price on a whole website. So make sure you're keeping an eye out for coupon plus cash back offers. That's going to be able to let you get things way cheaper than uh, normal people are going to be able to pay for it. And then if you're getting your buy costs way down, then you're going to be able to lower your price and still be profitable where other people are not profitable. So you're going to be able to capture all of the sales for a while. But if you're worried about stocking out, then you're going to be able to raise your price up to match where they would be at. And then you're just going to be way more profitable than they are and then share the buy box still. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found it useful. Again, if you decide to get tactical arbitrage, click the link down below and use promo code FIELDS to get a longer free trial. If you got any value out of this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Helps me out with the algorithm. And then drop any questions down below. I'm happy to talk about it. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks, guys.